um, Ethnos really started out to sell antivirus and um, UTM, Unified Threat Management um, Appliance, to the Nigerian market. And we've evolved over the years to now become a dominant, leading um, uh, company providing solution solving security problems when we started to sell antivirus we moved into the market offering products to the uh, market but we found out that the market needed not just product but security protection we needed to they were concerned about protecting their assets upscaling their, um, their their environment that ensure that they not only protect but they also show evidence of their um, complying to international standards so we thought, okay, let's offer them a more enterprise security um, solutions. My company was the first company in this country to host um, PCI DSS Roundtable. Um, at that point in time, there were only two companies in Nigeria that um, had adopted the um, payment card security standards, which they were um, InterSwitch and then Value Card. No bank at that time had become um, interested in complying to uh, PCI um, standards. So we found that there's need for you to also demonstrate your readiness um, to withstand threat and then of course comply to international best practices. So we, we hosted that event which was very well attended, about 24 banks in attendance. At that time there was no single uh, QSA in the country. There were no professional security people in the country, really. From then on till now, we have also maintained the st steady growth. We have also maintained the um, uh, uh, expertise in solving security problems. So today we have grown to nearly 30 workforce, uh, providing security across different um, um, application layers. So yeah, we have come a long way and I think we're going to be here for a long time. Five years from now, we have a, a three-point agenda. One is to build capacity for the industry, which was why early this year we set up an academy for cyber security training, which we're not charging money for. So we want to um, help people who have just come out of school and they are enthusiastic about building competence in cyber security, we want to provide them training and equip them to be able to become employable. So when organizations say, do you have experience, do you have hands-on, you can say, okay, Ethnos has trained me and I have hands-on and we are ready for the market. So that's one of the things we want to grow and see how much people we would put into the labor market in the next five years. That's one. Second thing is we are looking at uh, developing um, expertise internally. We have just done some restructuring internally and we created four unique areas of practice. And we have appointed leaders in these areas of practice. And we want them to become expert and provide expert opinion in the industry, become a reference point in the next five years. Thirdly, we want to also develop an application that will solve a major problem because um, um, 5G technology has just been um, set up and so penetration, um, um, broadband penetration is going to grow, okay? Financial inclusion is now also expanding the scope of financial services and so there's a lot that's going to happen with moving, up, moving services from whatever it is currently to the cloud and to the mobile environment. So the phones are going to become uh, almost replaced computer right now. And so applications are also, that are running on phone, are literally driving our behavior. You know, they now tell us what to do, how to do things. And a lot of these applications are moving to the mobile system. So we want to be able to look at how the mobile and internet and the broadband person has grown and provide solution that will be created by this growth. So we're looking at providing uh, comfort and confidence for the users of mobile phones and mobile applications 
in the country in the next five years. Number one, I'd like to express uh, my deep appreciation to um, our clients, our customers. I don't like to mention names, but you all you know yourselves. They are the people that are giving us a platform for expression. Okay, some of them trusted us from the beginning and gave us a chance and we proved to them that we are capable. And they are the ones that have kept us in business. No matter what we do, without customers, you will have no value. So first, I'd like to thank all our customers. Thank you for what you've done to help us to stay in business. And for those who are also out there who are not yet our customers, we are ready to help you solve your problems. We want to be able to um, work with you to understand, to help you see clearly the risk of where you're going to and help you prevent those risks. That's what we, why we're in business. We are in business to help you solve problems and work with you to see that you succeed in what you do while we also succeed in supporting you to deliver value to your customers. That's, that's what I have to say to our clients out there.